Yes, Lars Gerbley in here, and today I wanted to go through the best way to find players that you would probably be wanting to level up. So obviously now we've got the training feature, it's created this whole new world where we can find potential star players to level up and that are going to be great at top at like 80 onwards. I feel like the, base, the best basis is to look for players that are bronze, silver or gold and then look to level them up to 80 because then you get a good idea and 80 is a good starting point where most people would want to be at now, 80 or above for their players or 80 and then your skill boost making them higher. So you've got the likes of like Jordan Lukaku. Um, let's have a look if I've got anybody twice to just show you. So like, we want to find players that um, like, here's a great example, Skedjlovic. At level 80, at level 80, he's got 100 pace as a defender. Um, he's defending, because I've got skill boost and defending physical, they're a little bit higher on there. But like 100 pace and everyone's looking for these players that have great stats that are important at low levels and what they're going to be like at elite so obviously the most the most thing people have been looking for at the moment is looking for for players with a lot of pace at low levels to boost up however that's not always the best situation like we've got a Devante cole here 105 pace i've got him at 80 however his shooting is pretty low still so 80 you want your striker to be having closer to 80 shooting if not higher so 76 finishing isn't that great at 80. He has got the heck of a pace and it's fun to use. But it, anyway, you probably want to know, how do you actually find these cards without the Foothead database? So obviously in season one, you could go onto Foothead and you could search the mobile database for players and doing all of that. Foothead have announced they are trying to get it to us, but it could potentially be a month away because they have to wait to get the tools from EA and all of that and then work out and add it all onto the site. So they did announce that we are they, they are some way away from getting it. It could be short term, it could be long term. But this is to help you in the interim while we're waiting for Foothead to release their database for mobile to help us how to do it in the meantime. Now the great thing is Foothead aren't main Foothead's main platform is the console the console database. And what's great about this year is that on most part, most of the players in game stats are actually pretty similar, especially for the lower ratings. Some of the elites and some of the golds are pretty different, but as far as just most of the silver and bronzes go, it's pretty much all the same. Now this is easier on the website on your laptop or PC. However, the mobile site works well enough for us to be able to use um, to show you. So what you wanna do is if you're looking for players you simply go to the Foothead website, foothead.com. I'll leave a link in the description just in case you do want to click on it. You then want to go to FIFA 18 players. And obviously straight away it's going to show you how it's rated. But then you click player filters here. And this is where you can start playing around with it. So let's go. So you click on... Okay, there it is. You click sort at the bottom. And then when you get to sort, it gives you a whole host of new options. So you've got your skills, your ball control, crossing, dribbling, free kick accuracy, all of this stuff. You've got them all, you've got the physical, you've got every single stat to sort by. But also what you've got are these like attacker rating, creator rating, defender rating, beast rating, error rating, pace shooting, which generalizes it. So this is the general pace, this is the general shooting rather than individual stats. Total in-game stats, you've got the full list. Just like you would have on data on the, on the mobile database, or well, actually the console one's a little bit more detailed. They get more visitors and more users, so they put more effort into it, which is understandable. But the foot, the mobile database did just fine last year. So let's say we want to get some pacey, pacey, pacey players. Um, just looking at pace, we'll probably do individual pen videos on actual beasts in the future. Today's just going to be a general of how to find them and best things to use. On the console side, you they've actually got it's. I couldn't find it on mobile, but if you can go on the on the mobile side, if you go on the, the desktop website, they've got something called Foot Rank, where you can put how much weighting you think stats are important and it suits it for you that way. We can maybe do a video on that, but I know most of you do everything on your mobile or your tablet, so I wanted to stick to only using the mobile platform today. So let's um, let's go back to pace here we go we'll load up pace and it's now going to sort everyone by pace so you've obviously got a lot of high rate plays you have cut because of pace not being a factor for overall on console you do see some here so like a santane bolly are the fastest players 
um, silver in the game, you can further search. So let's go to bronze. And today we want to try and pick up a really, really pacey centre midfield card. So um, we'll go position sort because why is it being funny? Um, the site can sometimes be a little bit funny not wanting to search because it's trying to pick this up instead. Okay, that's gone in a CDM. Yeah, it's okay. It normally works fine. It just depends. Um, it's trying to close it out this way. Uh, why is it not letting us get there? Okay, we'll just do search cam CM CDM. From what we've found for the most part, they are all the same. So the console position is for most of them what their position is on the game as well. So let's have a look here and let's go to this guy here, Osadebi. And here we can see he's got 81 physical, 85 pace, he's 59 rated. Sometimes the ratings may be similar, maybe not, but you can search here. And obviously at the moment, this is purely searching by pace. And uh, well, Shane McCartin's the fastest player of the bronze, um, and he's a cam at 89 pace. So that's pretty nice. Now you thought of, you look around, you play with the searches depending on what you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for purely pace, strength, finishing. Look at a few of them on the website, on the PC or laptop. You can actually do it in player view, so you can see all the cards here next to each other rather than the individual stats. So you don't necessarily need to click into them. But for this example, we're going to go to Osadebi, like we've just done, and the stats all look pretty good. The shooting is quite low, but as a centre mid, you necessarily need shooting. Potentially not. It depends what you're looking for. Maybe his shooting's too low for you and you prioritise shooting more, so you go look for another one. But once you've sort of got, you'll find a few, maybe write them down, save them in your mind or wherever. Once you've got an idea of who you're looking for, switch back to the game, go to the market, so Osa Debbie, so we'll get it here, we'll search him up, the market's playing up now, the market is messed, I'm recording this on Sunday, and if you've tried using the market this weekend, you'll know it's an absolute pain, um, I'm hoping it's getting fixed, I've raised it with them, so you'll find Osa Debbie on, and then we find him here, so there's loads of him, he's quite cheap at the moment, on mobile, he's only 57 rated, so he's, he's actually lower rated, which means there's more scope for improvement. Obviously on the market this year now, you can actually tap on the play to get through the full stats. And here we can see that, yeah, his stats pretty much sum up how we were looking at on console. So 88 sprint speed, 81 acceleration, 80 strength, 59 ball control, uh, 43 finishing. So we know his finishing is low, but we know he's still got the strength. He's got the sprint speed. He's passing 57 rated, 63 short passing. We know he's got stats, so you're looking mainly for in terms of the ones that will go up the most, because it's not like last year, where only where every stat went up by one per level. This year it weights it based on what stats should go up realistically. So you're really looking through standout stats, which are usually the ones that are higher than their rating. So in this case, speed, strength, dribbling, aggression, short passing. These are the ones that you'd expect to go up the most. So you see they check out they're similar enough to console obviously you do want to check that's why you double check on the market click through to them check them out and in most cases they pretty much correspond with what we already knew so it's pretty useful in that sense i did buy one of these earlier so then obviously you can go through to my team go find your man we'll just put him into the slot here let me see if I can actually level him up now or if we'll um, need to go get a picture of one of my league mates who's already leveled him up. Where's he gone? I'm sure I bought him. Oh yeah, I scrolled past him. He's here, isn't he? So yeah, he's pretty much sums up training them up. Let me just see if I've got enough training boost to do on him um, without wasting anyone. Okay, no, I haven't quite got what I want just yet. So I won't do, but let me go back and go get a picture because I've got a picture from earlier of Ozadebe because one of my league mates have got him up to give you an example. Okay, so here's my league mates and this is the example of his Ozadebe leveled up to 80. 107 sprint speed, 100 acceleration, 88 strength, 77 ball control, 78 dribbling, 79 aggression, 83 short passing, 80 long passing. So you can see there the strongest stats we were able to identify, the ones that were generally above his level at the time, are now the ones that have improved the most. The rest have leveled up a little bit. His finishing's gone up to 62, which 
isn't that great. But like we're saying, it's a sentiment that you really, really need finishing. Should that be your focus? I do feel in most FIFA games, strength and speed have always been one of the best things to look for. Um, because if they're speed, they'll catch up, and if they're strong, they'll normally be able to hustle alongside. So even if they're tackling them that great, but in this case, it's tackling 68, which is it's okay. This guy's obviously going to be more you running around and making passes and running alongside people, but it does measure up. So although we don't have the exact mobile database now, I still recommend using the console database because for most part, players, especially the bronze and silvers they're gonna line up. So it's a very useful turn to find the players. I feel like some people are already doing it because at least at the week on like Friday, some of the players that were like easy to find on foothead without searching through were starting to go extinct. Um, and that's without even mentioning, uh, let's have a look, player filter, sorry, it's down here. That's without even mentioning this. Now this is something special beast rating. Foothead's got their own formula for a beast rating that they made and beast rating essentially finds you so this has still got the cam to see the end filter on. It's actually got Azadebe as the beastliest bronze midfielder in the game. Now from what I can tell it takes into some other factors but a lot of the time it looks at pace, strength, height, just general beat beastiness what you'd expect from a beast. So you've got the selection here. Let's, um, let's change positions to we can't get down at the moment. Obviously, this is better when you're holding your phone upright. However, if I hold my phone upright to change the the viewing, it's going to corrupt the video when we're doing this sideways. So you are probably better holding it upright to make sure everything fits in. But for now, we're doing it this way just for the purpose of the video. So go to center back beast ratings. You've got your bronzes. Maybe you want to look at silvers as well, or just the silvers to see what fits in here. So the beastly silver centre-backs are who we've been sort of seeing already. Marvel, Wynn, Skeljevic. You've got some others here. Akipara, Barlamy, uh, Okor. So let's go to like Okor, who's a few down. But he's here. You can see he's got decent pace, 75 pace, 81 physical, 69 defending. So he's got some decent stats about him. Um, obviously, you can delve in a little bit more here. Defender rating, 70. So his defender rating, analyzing his defender are a little bit below, but it's about looking for P players that have a host of good stats. So although it's exciting to always look for pace first of all, don't always look at pace straight away. So if you go straight for pace, you're not always gonna have the best time because there may be it may mean that the let the stats don't level up fully. So let's just have a look at some of the players that I've been leveling up. Swap here, centre backs. The, we have done Skeljevic and he's got pretty nice stats. His defending physical are actually pretty decent. I've been using Mansion because I'm trying to do as many Forest players as I can and he's got quite decent stats across the board. 80 defending, 84 physical, 79 pace, although he is an 83 at the moment. Yeah, Lukaku. Oh, what a player Lukaku is. Now, if we 94 pace, 88 physical, 76 defending, so it's not too bad, Darikwa from Forest is actually a really, really great option. Now 80, he's got 100 pace, 73 defending, 86 physical. He's passing at 73 and agility at 73 aren't too bad either. Let's have a look. Um, there's Garmston, he was the first left back he did. 105 pace he has. However, he's 70 defending and 69 physical it does let him down a little bit. So he's like an example of light coal. You go for, you look super fast. But then their stats, the rest of them use it and down because their pace has been super boosted, but the rest of the stats haven't. So you do want to try and find players that have great all-round stats, which you can fiddle about on foothead and look for them. Beast rating's good, just use in general. If you can go on the console, if you can, sorry, I keep saying console. If you can go on the, your PC or laptop to go on the site, you can also use foot rank, which allows you, essentially, you, it's got attacker, defender, passing, speed and all of that. And you say as a percentage how important those stats are to you as a person. And then it sorts, it finds them all and it presents them to you there. So say you say pace, shooting and strength are the most important. It's going to show you a player. May not be the quickest, but it's going to be the quickest, strongest. So of all the players in the game, it's going to be the one that holds them free with the most weight. 
so it's pretty useful that way but i hope this video has helped today we'll start going into videos and actually looking at players in particular so i'll probably still do a video on cold because i know quite a few people have been looking at him with his pace the lower the player card is the more potential chance they've got of being boosted up so you've got that probability there but we'll look into lots of players i aim i think let me know below i'm thinking of just doing it where we take players up to level 80 and review them at 80. let me know if i should maybe look at doing it at a different level lower higher i just feel like 80 makes sense so do leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode or today's video leave a like if you're new here so come follow me on twitter at jubbly and hd if you don't already and subscribe to me for fifa mobile videos daily peace But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love